All right, team, time to train. Ready, neutral stand, position. Set. Courtesy. Loud and proud. Student training number one. I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth and my physical health. Number two. I intend to develop self discipline in order to bring up the best in myself and in others. Number three. I intend to use what I'm in class and start being offensive to help myself and my fellow man and never be abusive or offensive. Courtesy. Excellent job. Let's get our bodies warmed up. We're going to start off just with a perfect jab. So we're just going to go perfect jab and then we're back to our jab and then right back. We're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds. Perfect jab. You're extending it and your hands come right back. Jab and then back. Jab and then back. Pop, pop it right out and right back to your guard. Thank each and every one of them. I'm trying to make this absolutely perfect. The perfect jab. Full extension. And I'm going to get right back to my guard. My other hand stays up nice and high the whole entire time. Push the shoulder out as that hand extends. And I'll reach right up towards my cheek just a little bit. And I'm going to jab and move. Jab and move. Jab and now switch other sides for it. Same drill, just your jab. Perfect jabs, right? Perfect jab. Stand in the back of your guard. Stand in the back. Perfect jab in the back. Perfect jab in the back. Now switch other sides forward, but now we're going with a perfect cross. So I twist my shoulder, extend, my other hand comes right up by my cheek to protect. And we're off. Go. 30 seconds. The perfect cross. How many perfect crosses are you going to throw in 30 seconds? Probably going to like 15. You're really taking your time to punch and then get back. Punch and then get back. Right? Extend. Take one breath and do it again. Form all the way out, all the way back, and then switch. Put your other side forward, and same drill. Ready? No, go. Cross, and then back to your guard. Strong cross, get right back. Bring it and straight back to your face each time. Punch back to your guard. Punch back to your guard. Full extension. Right? Rotate your shoulders. Put your hand right up by your face. One shoulder up by your cheek, the other hand by the other cheek. And time. And now switch your stance. And now hook with your lead hand. The perfect left hook. Go. Hand by the face. Shoulder drives through, right? Shoulder punches straight through every time. Perfect hook. Hands right up by the face. Elbow to the shoulder. Bump. Drive that shoulder into Drive. 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 And then switch other sides forward. So now, look with the other front hand. You can make that your right hand. Bump. Perfect hook. Push through your shoulder. Bump. more time. Last one. And time. Set of 10 push-ups. Flip and crunch on your own. Go. Push-ups, flip and crunch. Set of 10, full range. All the way down, all the way back up. And then once you get to number 10, you're going to flip over and start crunching. Squeeze, squeeze, and slow. squeeze those abs. Get them working. Five more seconds. Come on, come on, come on. And time. Jump right back up. 
And let's do some basics, and then we're going to jump into kicking, and we're going to bounce back and forth between those two a little bit. So, squat horse stance, all ten toes forward, bend your knees away from each other, right? And then get as low as you can, backs up nice and tall, hands way back tight to your ribs, basic punches, one time on each count. Let's start with the right hand, ready? Go, ja, go, ja, go, ja, go, ja, go, go, ja. Go, cha, go, cha, and then double it up two punches. Go, cha, cha, 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 and three punches. Full can last punch. Hang out down here with me. Keep these legs burning. Ready? Go, cha, cha, ayusa. Go, tip, tip, 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 Ayusa. And stand right back up. Position. Hands up for your cheek. And now front kicks with just your right leg. Neutral guard. So all ten toes forward. You're just going to be tucking, firing the kick with the right leg. 30 seconds to the right leg, 30 seconds to the left leg. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds. Right leg, fire the kick. Tuck, fire the kick. Tuck, fire the kick. Doesn't have to be super fast. Just think every single one I want to do with perfect form. Tuck, I fire, step back down. Kick, step back down. Kick, step back down. And now same thing with your left leg. Ready? That's work. Front kick with your left. Perfect form. Set foot back down. So extend the kick. Pitch. Couple more seconds. One more time. All right, now go back to ready stance. And now from our guard, we're working on slide up front kicks. So the slide up front kick, I step, I fire the kick, I step right back, right? So again, from the side, my feet do not cross, I cut, I fire a good kick, step right back to my guard, right? So left side forward, slide up front kicks. And we're up. Go. Step, kick, step right back. Step, kick, step back. Step, kick, step back. Kick, step back. Where's the hand? Keep them up nice and high. Right up by your face, rather. Not totally nice and high. That's a little too high, right? Elbows close, hands by my face. And now switch, put your other side forward, and same drill. Ready to go. Step, part of the kick, step right back. Step, kick, step back. Step, kick, step back. Step, kick, step back. Keep going. Last one. And now suit your stance and take a breath. So now working on skip front kicks. Skip front kicks are very similar to slide up front kicks, but faster. So if you look at my footwork, on the skip or on the slide up front kick rather, I just step, I throw the kick. The skip front kick, that step happens quicker. So instead of being step kick, step back, it's skip kick, step back. So it's a faster kick, right? The mechanics are very similar though. 30 seconds, ready, go. So skip with the right, kick with left, step right back. Kick and then back. Kick and then back. And again, if I go from the side, it's just that quick little hop. Short, it's not a jump, it's short, right? Keep it going, skip, kick and then back.
And now let's switch, put your other side forward. So now skip front kick from this side. And again, just like the slide up front kick, but faster. I skip into that kick, and then I'm back. Ready, go. Skip kick, skip back. Skip kick and back. Kick, right back. Kick, kick, and then back. Keep it going, almost there. And time. So now switch. Now we go to the jump front kick. So now my knee drives up, and then I throw the front kick. So now I am trying to get a little more vertical, right? So my knee comes up, and then I kick with the other leg. We're going to break this down into two parts. So first, you're just going to tuck, hold the knee up, show your balance, and now switch, kick with the leg you're standing on, right? And again, tuck, hold the knee up, and then jump, and then kick. And again, tuck, hold the knee up, switch, and then kick. Tuck, hold the knee up, and kick. And tuck, kick. Tuck, kick. So now all on one count, or just on your own, you're gonna work this. So now I'm just driving the up, I throw the kick. All right? 30 seconds to tell amazing you look ready to set. Go. Tuck, kick. Tuck, kick. See how awesome you guys look. Put on my mask so I can get by my counterpart. He was looking awesome. Nice job, Alejandro. Nice work, Namar. <laughs> Look at Julia with her hair down. Holy cow. Look at all that hair you've got, kid. There's everyone else. That's it. And time. All right, so now switch and go to the other side. So now my left side is forward. So now let's practice slow at first. Hold your left knee up. I'm going to jump and then throw the kick with the right. Right? And again, hold the left knee up and switch. And then we're right back. Hold the left knee up, switch. Hold the left knee up, jump and kick. Hold the left knee up and go. Hold the left knee up. And go. One more slow. Hold the left knee up and go. So now all on one kick, or all on one count rather, on your own. You're going to drive the leg up and then throw the kick. Ready, get set, go. You see how amazing you guys look with this leg? Who looks as amazing as Andrea? Nice kick, Andrea. Talon, nice kicks. That's it, Mahin. Good work. Nice job, Julia. That's it. Extend that leg, Josiah. Get that leg straight on the kick. Extend. There you go. And time. All right, so now from here, we're going to go into hard boat punches. Let's go back to stances for a minute. Everybody back down the horse stance, and then just put your hands on your hips right now, and turn your left heel out, so you're turning hard into your hard boat stance. Front leg is straight, ideally I'm trying to get it flat even with the ground. Back leg is locked out. And now turn your stance the other direction. So my heel kicks out, back leg is straight, front leg I'm trying to get as flat even with the ground as I can, right? And then I turn my hips as I go into the hard boat. So instead of being here, and I lean this way, hard boat, this way, hard boat, Notice how my hips are staying forward, right? It should be that my hips turn. My stomach is facing that way. And I turn. My stomach, my chest is facing this way, not forward still, right? Turn, hard boat stance, get down nice and low. And then again, turn, hard boat stance, turn, nice and low. One more turn. And now let's punch to the right hand. And single punches. Ready? Go. Tia. Go. Tia. Go. Tia. Go. Tia. Go, tia, go, tia, go, tia, go, tia. Now we're going to double it up two punches. Ready? Go, punch, punch. Go, and push, pull, push, pull. Go, push, pull, push, pull. Go, tia, tia, 
out of me. You punch the lock out for a moment. Go. Kia. Kia. You should see your hands stop. Go. Kia. Kia. Go. Kia. Kia. Go. Kia. Kia. And now three punches. Boom. Kia. Last punch. All hard. Go punch. Go. Kia. Kia. Ayusa. Go. Kia. Kia. Ayusa. Go. Kia. Kia. Ayusa. One more. Go. Kia. Kia. Ayusa. And relax. Shake out your legs. And now we'll go to side kicks. So neutral guard first. We're just simply turning the bottom foot. I tuck my leg. Perfect side kick. Set the leg right back down. Right? So 30 seconds. Right leg only. Ready? Get set. Go. And take perfect form. Tuck, kick, in, and then down. Full tuck. Set me up. Extend. Extend. Over the shoulder instead of in front of the chest. When I look in front of the chest, look at how my foot position differs. Here's looking over the shoulder. If I do everything the same, but I look in front of my shoulder, look at how bad my foot positioning goes, right? Can't keep it over. And now let's go to the other side. So turn the right toes, left leg is kicking. And you're up, up, extend, back down. Up, extend. Think about your hand positioning. Don't focus so on your foot. You do this. Very sloppy. Hands are up. Pop, kick. Back in. Perfect form. And everyone you're kicked. You're going to make each one absolutely perfect. What's it going to look like? And there's a point that didn't quite meet that standard of perfection. Fix it. But don't just throw it to throw it. Best form you can each time. And time. All right, so now let's go back to our ready stance, and now defensive side kicks from here. Very similar to the side kick that we just did, because there's no slide up. I just simply lean back, I kick, I set the leg right back down. All right, defensive side kicks. Go. Lean back, kick, lean down. Up, kick, down. Go right from a ready stance each time. So instead of I'm just standing here, I'm in my guard. Bring it up, extend the kick. And that pivot happens as the kick is coming out, right? It's a great kick to have for sparring. It's that ability to just lean back and throw the side kick without any slide. One more. And now let's switch other leg. Same thing, lean back for your side kick. Set the foot right back down. And you're off. Go. Lean back, side kick. Lean back, side kick. Lean back, side kick. And now let's switch and go to our other side again. And now you're going to do a back leg side kick. So now my back leg comes up, I show full up, side kick, and then set right back down. Similar to a defensive side kick, there's no slide up. I've got to get that full pivot on the kick, right? So when I do my defensive side kick, if I go this way, you'll notice this foot turns away from the kick as I throw the kick. When I do a back leg side kick, I've got to get the same thing to happen. So now my back leg comes up. And then I turn with how it's all the way away from the kick, but it's on my throat, right? So now we're here, left side forward, tuck, side kick, set right back down. Go to it. Back leg side kick. Big full tuck. As big of a tuck as you can. Right shoulder, uh, right knee to the left shoulder. Right knee, left shoulder, extend. Right knee to the left shoulder, extend. Right up and extend. And now switch other side for it. Same thing here, back leg side kick. So my left knee comes to my right shoulder, and then I kick with the left leg, right? 30 seconds, go. Way up high, extend the kick. Back to guard. Way up high, extend the kick. Back 
can't stay up, be conscious where your hands are. Get that knee to come all the way to your chest, way up, and then extend. Really important to get that knee way up because in a moment we're going to start jumping, aka flying sidekick practice, and bringing my knee to my chest is paramount, meaning super important. All right, so now let's get into flying sidekicks. First zone, all I want you to do is just now bring your knee up as you drive it up high towards your shoulder, your other foot, I'm jumping off of the ground. So now I'm going to drive the knee up, jump, and try and bring this foot all the way up to my backside. And see if I can keep myself to the backside as I drive my knee to my shoulder, right? So I go knee to the shoulder, keep the backside. And then I come right back down. Knee to the shoulder, bring the foot up to my backside, right? One more time. Knee comes up, bring your foot way up high. 30 seconds on your own. Let me see it. Go. Oh, here we go away. You got an extra 10 seconds of practice on that side. Thanks to Siri. Say thank you, Siri. Hopefully she didn't hear me. Nope, she didn't hear me. Didn't mess my time up. All right, let's go drive the knee to your shoulder. Drive the knee up. Tuck your back leg up nice and high. Drive and then land. Remember, landing on your feet is also very important. And then once I land on my feet, I want to stay on my feet. And time. So now switch your stance. And now we go to the other side. So I'm driving my knee to my shoulder, right knee in my case, right knee to my left shoulder, right knee to left knee to right shoulder. And the other foot, I'm just trying to bring it up, but I'm kicking myself in the backside. Right? Drive me up, kick your foot. Right? Three, two, one, go. In case you weren't going yet, I'm sure most of you already were. Let's see how amazing you're looking. Let's see. Hey, it's Sana and Rhea. Hi, Sana and Rhea. I didn't see you guys earlier. Let's see it, Julia. That a girl, that's it. Good, Liam. Good, Siobhan. Siobhan, turn a little bit more. Bring the knee all the way to your shoulder. Better? Nice work, Andrea. All right, and time. So now we go to the full-on sidekick, flying sidekick. So now I'm going to jump in the air. My knee drives up to my chest. I extend the sidekick out, and then I set right back down, right? What am I safest doing this way? I think this one, right? So now you're staying in one spot, though. You're not running across your room. It should just simply be that I tuck, I show my sidekick, and then I set right back down, right? Tuck, drive my knee up. My foot comes up as I kick. Right? And try. Right? So flying side kicks on your own. And again, it doesn't need to be run across the room and do it. All I've got to do is just take one step. Boom, take the side kick. Three, two, one, go. I'm going to give you like a minute to work this one. I want to get you really tired. And I want you jumping a lot. I want you all to be awesome. So when our demo team reconvenes, you're all ready. Let's see how they look. Good, Siobhan. Bring your back foot up more. There you go. That was a lot better. Nice work, Andrea. Get that back foot up. No running, just tuck and kick. Just tuck, kick. Well, kind of like that. Swing, tuck. Yes, there you go, Josiah. Nice. That's it, Julia. Nice, Sana. Turn your hip over a little more so your toes are. There you go. That was a better one. Namar, nice kick. <laughs> Bob doesn't stand a chance. Some talent. Yeah. Come on, get him in the head. Oh, yeah, that was in his head. There you go, that was better. <laughs> and time, switch, kick with the other leg. Nice one, Kellen. And time, so now switch. At that time, you 
you were doing your left leg the whole time. Now switch, I'm gonna give you a minute to work your right leg the whole time, right? And I'm coaching other people. If you're watching this on YouTube, listen to the coaching because what I'm telling them, there's a possibility that you might need that same exact coaching. So if you hear me say, tuck your back leg up a little bit more, what I'm talking about is this. Um, instead of the kick looking like that, this back foot, I wanna get it tucked. So instead of, let me do it this side, instead of that leg just trailing behind me, I wanna try and bring that foot up as I throw the kick, right? Um, if I say turn your hips over a little bit more, it's because when your kick comes out, it looks that way where your toes are pointed up. And when it comes out, it should be this way so your toes are pointed down. Okay? So, ready? Next minute, flying side kicks, go to work. See how awesome you guys look. Who looks awesome, Mr. Kester? Um, the goyles are pretty good. Andrea, that was a good kick. Good knife edge. Sit. Try and get that back foot up and stick the landing. There you go. Much better with the landing. Shimanch, nice job. Get that back foot up more. Let's see it, Liam. Atta boy. Keep it going. Right, one more time, ready, three, two, one, last kick, go. Good, and time. All right, so next stance, we're just gonna let your legs, not really your legs, because your heart slow down a little bit. Instead of jumping, we're gonna bend our knees really low. So practicing a crossing stance. For some of you, this will be advanced level, it's in some of the katas. Um, for intermediate team, it'll be in some of your katas eventually. So we're just gonna practice it right now. So I'm gonna take my feet, you're just gonna stand feet shoulder width apart, right? Um, can you see my feet from here? Uh, no, sir. No? Can you see my feet? Yes, sir. Okay, so from here, all 10 toes forward. I'm going to take my right leg and just simply step behind at an angle of my left leg. So you can see your foot trailing out over the side. And then I bring that knee right to the ground. I'm going to take my fist and put it in between my knee and my foot. And that's how much space there should be, right? Should be just enough space for me to fit my fist. In. So I'm going to do this from a couple angles so you guys can see. So again, I'm standing this way. My foot comes behind me in a little bit of an angle. My knee comes down, and look how my fist fits, right? So just my fist goes in between, as opposed to my feet are like this. This isn't a crossing stance. This is me uh, flying down on the ground. So my knee is just about a fist distance underneath, right? So let's just practice. So stand right here. Bring this foot back. Bring your knee to the ground. Make sure it's about a fist distance away. Keep your feet right here, and just simply stand all the way up. Now bring your knee within an inch of the ground, and then stand up again. And then do it again, down, and then up. Down, and then up. Down, and then up. Down, and then up. Five more times. One, two, hold it for two seconds. Three, hold it for three seconds. Four, hold it for four seconds. Back up, and then five, hold it for five. Four, three, Two, one, and then stand back up. And now let's go to the other side. Other detail I should have mentioned, by the way, is notice my body posture. When I go down, my body is upright and it's still facing forward towards the camera. So instead of me going down and my body crunches over, right, which I'm really not bending the knees at all, I'm just going, yeah, I'm getting lower, but no, I'm not. I'm just ducking my head. Or as I bend my knees, I turn my body this way, right? This isn't only a crossing stance anymore. So it needs to be that my body is kind of twisting as I'm doing this. So here we go, all 10 toes forward, step back with your left leg, bring your knee to the ground, do the hand check, should be about a fist distance between your foot and your knee. And now from here, just stand all the way up, keep your feet there, and let's do 10 of them, ready, down, and then back up, one, two, three, four, five, next five, we pause, ready, one, and then back up, two, we hold for two seconds, and then back up, Three, hold it for three seconds, and then back up, and then four seconds, back up, and then five, four, three, 
two, one. Back up and then out. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go from a hard bow punch to a Q sow. Really quick, Q sows come under the arm, knife hand blocks come from the shoulder. So remember also the Q sow, if you haven't done these before, if you think of like I make a tiger claw, so I make these fingers into like half, like I was trying to make a little cat paw, but I'm going to take this one little finger and stick it straight up in the air. I'm going to make sure my thumb is tucked in tight. So instead of my hands being out away from each other and this finger is sticking up, or I'm just making a fist saying, hey, you're number one, right? I want to think, curl the fingers, tuck the thumb, this finger sticks out straight. All right, so here we go. We're going to go hard go punch to the right, and now I draw back to my cat stand, cue sow with the left. And then I step out, hard go punch right, step back to my cat stand, or crossing stance, cue sow. All right, step out, punch, step back, cue sow. Step out, punch, step back, cue sow. So the punch is going to be fast and explosive. Go, yeah, and then cue sow slow. Yes, punch, yeah, cue sow. Yes, punch, yeah. Cue sow. Push off of this leg as you punch. Punch, push off that leg, let this leg stop you. Cue sow. Staying right back down like in a spring. And punch. Yeah. Cue sow. Punch. Yeah. Cue sow. Punch. Yeah. Cue sow. One more time. Punch. Yeah. Cue sow. And then stand back up. And now let's go to the other side. So, hard go punch, and left hand is punching your right hand, opposite hand, this is my left, probably your right. Draw back, two sow with your left hand. And then step out, punch to the right, hard go. Step back, two sow with the left. Okay, or cross me. Step out, punch. Step back, two sow. Step out, punch. Step back, two sow. Step out, punch. Step back, two sow. Five, fast and strong. Ready? One, yeah, two thou. Two, yeah, two thou. Three, yeah, two thou. Four, yeah, two thou. Five, yeah, two thou. And relax. Shake out your legs. Whew. Andre and Shavanch, remind me to have you guys do some of those this weekend. You'll love it during black belt testing. All right, so now from here, roundhouse kicks. Let's warm our hips back up for kicking, and you're gonna go back leg roundhouse, back leg roundhouse. So I put a roundhouse kick, plant down, and then I kick again. After I kick, I plant forward, step back. Part of the kick, plant forward, step back. One minute, ready, get set, go. Alternating back legs. There's nothing much on the push. Kick and then back. You guys will probably be going much faster than I am and kicking much higher than I am. Just remember to get your hip all the way through. That's the extension of the kick. It's a nice straight line, right? Extension of the kick, nice straight line. All right, look through my toes, my hips, and my shoulders. It's always in the straight. As opposed to a kick and I'm here, right? Or I kicked over there. I'm going to kick the point straight ahead. Boom, extend. Point straight ahead. And time. All right, so now we're going to go into pop up roundhouse kicks, right? Um, for anyone that doesn't like to jump, so for anyone that's jumping on later tonight, you don't have to necessarily do all this jumping. You can just continue on this alternating back leg roundhouse kicks or fill something else in right now, right? For all of the teenagers or anyone younger than me, which is all of you guys, then all I want you to do right now is you're going to practice jumping. And your back knee is going to come forward, but like a roundhouse kick. So, on my pop up front kicks, where I jump and I just drive the knee straight up, I've got to jump, point my knee forward, and turn my body sideways. 
So my shoulder is at the camera. As I jump in the air, my knee would go towards the camera, and my leg is flat across, because again, we're getting ready for roundhouse kicks. So as you pop up, it's pop up, bring the knee forward. Um, it's only to the side. So pop up, boom, bring your knee forward, right? On your own, but alternate from one side to the other. 30 seconds, go. Let's see how you look. Pop up, point the knee forward. No kicking talon, just the knee. Tuck, just pop up and tuck the knee. Move away from Bob. Just do the tuck. That's it, Siobhan. Drive that knee up. Come on, pop up. Drive the knee. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Jump. 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 See, so you guys are waiting too long. So speed up. That's it, uh, Alejandro. Good. That's it, Maham. Get that knee up high. Open those hips up, girl. Nice work, Mahin. And time. All right, so now, going in the round, I'll check. Now, as I do this, uh, I'm going to demonstrate slowly. But imagine I'm in the yard. Jump. I'm just in the air bound right now. And I extend the roundhouse kick out, and then I land. So like the pop-up front kick, but instead of doing a front kick, I'm doing a roundhouse kick. Right. So like with a pop-up front kick, I would pop up and I kick this way. With a pop-up roundhouse, I have to pop up and I throw my roundhouse kick. But all of that would be well and still in the air, right? So pop-up, roundhouse kick. If you have one side that you like to work better than the other, that's fine. But if you want to do both, then I would recommend that because it'll help you balance your body out. Even if one side is much stronger than the other, that's all right, the other side will catch up. Ready? One minute, go. Pop up and kick. I'm going to jump over and see how awesome you guys look. That's it, Siobhan. Talon, you can kick Bob now. There you go, nice. Right to the head. For those of you that can't see what Talon's doing, he has one of those body opponent bags, AKA Bob, and he's kicking him in the head. <laughs> it's not like a little brother or anyone like that. <laughs> Just wanted to clarify. That's it, Andrea, nice. Remember, turn your body, get your hip forward. Back shoulder becomes the front shoulder, turn. That's it, Josiah. Now make it a roundhouse kick. Extend that leg. Point your toes. That's it, Julia. Roundhouse kick, Namar, flat across, like you're kicking over the top of a table. Time! All right, so as you guys are doing this, I'll use my type of air filtration device instead of a table. But imagine like it was a little bit taller and it was a kick, right? My roundhouse kick, if I go this way, boom, I kick it. I have to make sure that my foot comes up and over the top, flat across, right? It comes up and over the flat that way, right? If I do this, I'm doing a rising front kick, really, right? Or a front kick or a rising roundhouse. Whatever you want to call it, it's not a pop up roundhouse kick. It has to be that it's pop up in the air and then kick it flat across. Pop up in the air, kick it flat across, right? I'm going to give you 30 more seconds. Three, two, one, go. See how you look for the last 30. Let's see it. Go, go, go. You should already be going flat across Namar. Excuse me, sir. I had a lot of medallion. I'm pointing at her on the screen. If she can see anything, I'm going that. Nice kick, Maham. That was better, Namar. That one was good. That's it, Julia. Make it your back leg. Back leg instead of front leg. So, yeah. Put your left foot in the front. Okay, or that way. That works too. That was it. That a girl. Nice height. That's it, Andrea. Nice job. That's it. Although I can't tell who I'm looking at. It's a small box. 
Oh, it was Sana. Nice kick, Sana. And time. And everyone face towards front set. And courtesy, boost. And relax, Sam. Thank you, Brock. A lot of jumping today. Your heart should be pumping. I know I'm a little bit sweaty, and I didn't even do all this. So you guys should definitely be sweaty. So last week we started talking about philosophy, and the main thing that I wanted everyone to understand this last week is just philosophy is your set of beliefs that helps you understand kind of the way you think the world should run. And so your philosophy is consistent with your belief system. Right now, Mr. Harshbarger talked a little bit about chew gum. Right? What do we do with chew gum? When we're done with it, there's a philosophy, a belief system of what should happen with chew gum, and probably why as well. Right? Most philosophies are going to have a what and a why, right? For instance, I think the shoe gum should be thrown in the trash. Why? Well, because it's on the sidewalk and I step on it, it gets on my shoe. And if I swallow it, it gets inside my I can't imagine gum and it has a lot of nutritional value. It doesn't belong in my body. Why would I swallow it, right? Why would you swallow a pen cap? Well, you wouldn't swallow a pen cap. There's no reason you would do that. Same thing with gum. Why would you swallow it, right? So your philosophy, understand, is built by the people that are around you, right? the people that you look up to mentors in your life, the situations that happen to you, and how you interpret those situations. For instance, let's say that I have a friend that tells me that they're going to do something with me, and that friend doesn't show up. And so then I say, I can't believe it. My friends are useless. None of them ever follow through with anything. They all stick me all the time, right? That could be a philosophy I could take away from that situation. Now. You may or may not agree with that philosophy. I personally don't, right? But that might be one way people think. Another way could be that, geez, I can't believe this person stood me up because all of my friends always treat me great. My friends are always there for me. They never mistreat me. I can't believe this happened. I'm sure it will never ever happen again. Right? So that could be another option, another philosophy that I could take away from that same situation. Now understand that everybody will take away different things, and many times it has to do with how their life is played out to that point. So let's say that through my whole life, I have one friend that has ever stood me up, no one or other of my friends has ever stood me up, they've always been there for me when I want. It's gonna be really easy for me to forgive somebody that has stood me up or not look at every person as being that same person. If I've had my whole entire life, all of my friends were never there for me and they always seem to make promises to me and then break them, it's gonna be really hard for me to trust people. And it's going to be, I'm going to be really quick to see that somebody stood me up and say it's another person just like that. Even if it was not even their fault and it was totally unavoidable, their parents got sick and they had to meet them at the hospital, right? And, but I said, well, no, we could be being excused. So everybody has different philosophies for different reasons. Our past tends to really dictate a little bit of how we look at the future a little bit. So it's not right or wrong, it just is. But when you understand that, you can start to look at it and formulate many times better philosophies, right? So right now what I want you to understand is philosophy is just simply how you view the world, your belief of the world in general. Secondly, everybody can have different philosophies about the exact same situation because they have different things that have happened to them over time that help them come to different conclusions, right? So the way you see something isn't necessarily the same way that somebody else sees something. So it's important that we remember that as we go through the next handful of weeks and start talking about a little bit more specific situations. So again, the first two ground rules in a sense are philosophy is simply my belief system of how I think things should work. And then secondly, everybody tends to have different philosophies because everybody tends to have different experiences, right? And then next week we'll start talking about a little bit more of some specifics of things that I just want you to think about. Not necessarily giving you my philosophy, but trying to get you to think about your own a little bit. Maybe giving you a little time, but mostly making you think. So, excellent job today, team. I hope you guys had a lot of fun doing all the jump kicks and reviewing some of the lower belt jump kicks for some of the advanced teams. Thank you so much. I will see you guys all later. Set and courtesy. Great work, team. High fives. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's my.